So let's take a look at the process of making sure that the center of gravity and balance is set up straight on the flying wing. Now to do that, you know, make sure that you have everything that you are going to be carrying in the wing, in the wing. So if you've got a GoPro that you're going to carry, put it on and mount it. <clears throat> Pardon me, make sure you have the LiPo battery that you're going to be flying with inside the canopy here, inside the fuselage, and is tied in and where it's going to be when you fly. Make sure the motor, everything else is on. <clears throat> Prop isn't too critical because it's so light, but everything else should be there with everything put together. And then what you'll do is on the underside, on each wing, there is a mark. And what you're going to do is place your fingers on there, put it the other way so it's right side up, and then balance it with your fingers on those points. So I'm currently holding it stable here, but if I let go with my thumbs, you can see that immediately the back drops. And so this is tail heavy, which is not good. And so what we need to do is add weight to the front to make sure that it stays stable. And so what we're going to do, let's just gently pop the canopy off here, is we're going to start to add weight just here where the battery compartment is, get it to balance, take off everything that we've added in that as, as ballast and weigh that up as a total so we know how much we're going to need to add for when we fly. So all I've done is I've got an 18650 battery here, which if I remember right, that one's about 45 grams, give or take a little bit. So we just see that and you can see it's still pretty tail heavy and so it's not enough yet. And so I've got another 18650 battery here. I'll just add that and see what happens. Now where's the balance points? And if I let it balance again, oh, we can see now it's very much front heavy. And so having two of these, that's going to be too much weight. So we're gonna to have to go somewhere in between. And so what I've got here are just some coins that I can add in very easily. So I'll put one there and one there so it sort of stays balanced. And I'll check again. And look at that. That is balancing out just about perfectly. It's not tilting too much to the back at all, not tilting to the front. If I make it go forward, it will. And if I make it go back, it will. But for the most part, it's staying fairly much balanced on that part. So what we've found out now is that with this particular battery and this particular setup, we will need this much weight. Well, how much weight is that? Well, that's where this comes in handy. You fire up your scale and you put that on and you see that the scale here, which you can't read, I know because of the glare and everything, it says 58.96 grams. So in order for this to balance out in this particular configuration, we're going to basically need to add 60 grams of extra weight to the front compartment here in order to make sure that it's balanced when it flies. Now, you're not going to use this LiPo and these coins as the balance. That was just to figure out how much we needed. Um, what you need to do from here is either purchase yourself some lead that comes in sheets for this exact purpose at a hobby shop, or find some other source of heavy weight that you can add in. Just for example, in this particular model, there are little compartments just in, in here where a person could add some lead weight as well very easily. How you choose to add in that ballast will be up to you. Just make sure that when you put it in there, it is mounted solidly and it's not gonna go flying around and it will stay in place. And you also need to keep it basically at the front here because that's where we were weighing and that's where it had the effect to balance it out. And really, that's all you need to do in order to make sure that your flying wing is balanced. It's a fairly easy process.